Voyager 1 was launched from Cape Canaveral in Florida on September 5, 1977, 16 days after the launch of its sister spacecraft, Voyager 2. The switch was made because Voyager 1 was to be first to reach Jupiter and Saturn, their main area of exploration. One of the iconic images sent by Voyager 1 became known as the Pale Blue Dot, a picture of our own planet seen from the distance of about 6 billion kilometers. Another was the first picture of a volcanic eruption elsewhere in space on Jupiter's moon Io. After exploring Jupiter and then Saturn, the two space probes continued past Uranus and Neptune, sending home more scientific data. Scientists hoped that they would reach the edge of the solar system, more than 10 billion kilometers away. We reached out with Voyager 1, and we're about to reach it with Voyager 2. Instruments designed to measure the solar wind will now turn to the mysterious interstellar wind. So we will have a chance with that instrument to actually measure the wind for the first time directly. As digital sound carriers were not yet invented, both spacecraft carry a gold-plated gramophone record with pictures and sounds characteristic of the Earth, together with an explanation on how to play them back. The Voyager spacecraft owed their longevity to their small nuclear thermoelectric generators that will provide power to return data for at least another decade. It will still take more than 40,000 years for them to reach the nearest stars in the constellations of Ursa Minor and Andromeda. By that time, they may represent the only traces of human civilization. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.